Alright guys, I'm back again, and this is part two of a video, um, you know, my mind's just all over the place like usual, so I ended my last video uh, a few minutes ago about the F7N, which the 7 is a U, uh, is an L, and the N is a U, so yeah, you gotta, you gotta speak around the algorithm or they'll, you know, YouTube doesn't allow you to speak much. You know, you can't say much of anything without being stricken, and it's just not worth it to just go out and say it. So, you know, you gotta speak around it. So that one there has all kinds of things wrong with it. Um, narcolepsy, which means you fall asleep suddenly. Uh, I knew a guy who had that uh, F7N years ago, and um, I was telling him, you know, I'd see everywhere you're driving around, we're driving around, and... You see the pharmacies, and they have, you know, get get this uh, F7N and whatnot. Get that injection, and I say, well, I'll tell you what, right now, don't get that, because that right there will get you sick. It'll do a lot of things wrong to you. And he said he had already gotten it. Um, and um, so within a year or two, I don't know if it was that year or if it you know, I don't want to be crazy about it, but, um, he did start, he'd start falling asleep driving, and that's some really scary stuff. I don't know exactly what all was going on there, but it wouldn't surprise me if that had something to do with it. Um, because I don't think he was just up all, all day and all night and whatnot. You know, I'm a lot more aware of things now than I was at the time. But I've been learning more and more, especially since about 2019 into 2020, and now uh, into 2022 now. So I've had, you know, this is going on year three or so of really understanding beyond just symbolism and, you know, the music and different things like that. You hear the same patterns and whatnot, that basic stuff that I need to, you know, get into. Um yeah so there's narcolepsy there's bell's palsy which bell's palsy is basically facial paralysis um let's see what else is on there i'm trying to remember off the top of my head so excuse me for this bell's palsy alzheimer's um you know they all people act like it's so normal for people to just lose their memory like oh they're just old they're just old you know well i bet you that didn't happen back in the day I can guarantee you. I'm coming up to the window. So excuse me here. Thank you. So, yeah. Um, like I said, uh, Bell's palsy, narcolepsy, um, Alzheimer's. Yeah, Alzheimer's. I definitely see people's memory getting worse and worse. There's, you know, people don't think of the things that are in their food and the chemicals being dropped from the sky and different things. Um, but yeah, look into stuff. Look into chemtrails, look into what's in your food, weed killer. I've heard so many different things, you know, it's, you know. Thank you. Do you want to lay on your butterfinger? Uh, no. Yeah, every di every disease keeps going up. It seems like 2018 that was, you know, birth defects or I shouldn't even say birth defects necessarily. Um, birth rates were low. Well, like I said, I can keep going off into different things. I'm trying to stay focused on on one thing at a time. So um, beyond that, um, just the F7N. You get the F7N from being injected. There's so many people that got the F7N after being injected, get sick, you know, different things, which somehow the F7N doesn't exist anymore. So how does that make any sense? It just it just disappeared somehow, and you know now they're mixing. They're saying, oh well, people are now getting it again, and they're mixing that with the C, the C, uh, CV, the 91 or the 19, whatever. 
um, somehow they're saying, oh, all these are mixing together. Well, that's bullcrap, first of all, so don't buy any of that garbage. Somehow they keep coming out with new names and, you know, whatever phrase you want to say, the ver e ents So, all that. Um, yeah. Nonsense. There you go. Thank you very much. You have a good day. Let's start the video now. You wait for this, this nonsense. It's sad. It upsets me going going around places seeing people wearing their masks at work. And it's like yeah, there's all kinds of jobs. But who wants to sit or who wants to work wearing a mask and everything? It's, bar it's embarrassing. It really, really is. So yeah, the F7N. Some other things that it's caused. Uh, like I said, the infertility. The, the birth rates are low. Not to mention what your child is probably going to get after you, you know, for females when they're, uh, when they get the F7N injection, what that could pass on to your child, and then we'll get into, you know, s stages of life and different things. I've, uh, not stopping, I got a lot of information, and I'm just going to keep on going. So I hope you guys stick with me here, and I apologize for going off topic. Um... Bone issues, there's been a lot of bone issues behind uh, F7N. There's been um, cancer, different cancers, different things like that in F7N. People don't know the ingredients in F7N. Um, from, let's just say, um, something that uh, where, you end, where you end a pregnancy, that uh, the leftovers of the, uh, the human... The, the baby, the parts are in there, that's one thing, um, formaldehyde, different things like that, mercury, just all kinds of nasty stuff, there, there's one called like theramisol or something that's real bad for you, it's just like, it's all garbage for you, it's all really bad, it all gets you sick, if it doesn't get you sick right away, it'll weaken your immune system, and then when the actual F7N, when it's F7N season, it, you're a lot more likely to be sick. Um, man, usually I'm right off the top with this stuff. Um, but yeah, that's a pretty good start. You understand there's, you know, all kinds of issues behind that. So you're going to get the same results from any injection like that. And, you know, since I'm on the topic, let's just go into the young, the young thing. So when you're getting these injections and whatnot, you're putting this stuff in your body People, well, maybe not you, I hope not, you listening. If, if you have, don't do any more. That's for sure. Don't keep, don't keep getting it. Don't buy into whatever you're being told. Don't get peer pressure from work or your family or your friends, whatever. You know, because that's a whole other thing now. What's going into these other new injections that you really, really can't talk about beyond the F7N or the CV or one nine, whatever you want to call these different things that are supposedly such a big thing. But like I said, it's all there for a reason. It's all to make you sick and whatnot. It's all nonsense. Um, but yeah, let's go into the young, the youngins and whatnot, because they're pushing everything on the youngins now. Um, they don't know any better. Their parents are embarrassing. They they inject their children. I think now they're, they've, you know, they keep on approving stuff. Somehow they approve it, which they can't even, you know, they approve the injections for children, but people are having seizures and blood clots and everything else. So, you know, remember that the next time you think anything good of any of these, um, people or whatever, um, that allow this stuff in your food and in your, you know, in the air and different things, in the injections and all these supposedly great things and all these other, you know, economic uh, forums and whatnot. The uh, WEF or FEW, you know, so many different topics, so much to say. It seems like everybody agrees with it, though, somehow. And, you know, don't... Don't buy too much into a lot of the pe like celebrities and stuff that act like they're not for it or whatever because they have to have a few that 
that disagree, you know, that come out and say, well, I disagree with this and that. Maybe they do feel that way, but they're still part of the, the system and whatnot, and they have to take their orders. So if someone comes out and says, well, you know, I'm not for any of this stuff, I'm not for forcing it, I'm not for it in general, they'll get shut down real quick. They'll, you know, if, if someone was really against something, they'd end up being taken out. They wouldn't exist anymore. That's how these things work. And that's another thing. A lot of uh, a lot of people are passing lately. So, you know, and you see people that are getting sick that supposedly have the injections and whatnot. Well, obviously, when you know stuff. But, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it so where people that stumble upon these type of videos, they'll understand. Um, they'll understand this stuff at a basic level. So I'm trying to focus but it's very difficult for me um see i lost my top yeah so what you're putting in your body or someone puts in their body don't forget there's something called it's called shedding it's where your uh or viral shedding where what you put in what one puts in their body it spreads to the next person through their pores so if you're not into all that stuff you don't want all that and other people are doing it to themselves and you're in contact with them there's a chance that you get that affected by you so okay we literally have someone sitting in the car with a mask on you've got to be out of your dang mind holy cow get me away from some people here please I'm at my destination here so I'm gonna wrap it up here but yeah you can see what they're doing to children they're teaching them they're teaching them through their shows and different things and they're mocking everything that's true and you know it's sad it's a sad world seeing people do that it's important for parents to you know teach their kids and whatnot and all that situation um don't get walked on in life because don't get peer pressure don't do any of it the good thing is a lot of people aren't with with stuff so even if you don't see it around you if you're around people that are in general um they're for it or they got it or whatever they believe in all this stuff um there's a lot a lot of people that are not a fan of this they're not going along with it they see them the uh, immorality I mean you can when you're trying to teach people stuff you can teach them just basic um, you know just the immorality uh, portion of different things so you know that's one way to do it you don't have to you know tell them anything overly ridiculous you know too much for them but you know just keep on sticking with them if they they don't buy it or whatever you can keep doing it i just keep bugging people you know eventually something's gonna stick in their mind and they're gonna see they're gonna see um they're gonna see things happen and uh yeah uh, yeah that's that's how it works you just keep teaching them and show them what they're doing to the kids and the stuff on the TV and the, you know, the amount of things. It doesn't have to just be the uh, the injection and stuff. It can be the immorality stuff. It can be the celebrity stuff. The, you know, just basic stuff. There's a lot of just basic stuff. We can get people to just think basically. Um, that's a good start. So, you know, we'll see from there. Um, but yeah, it's such a big deal to me. I've been trying to teach as many people as I could. Um, there was a long time while I was really learning stuff. I was on my way out of my last job before I had my current job. And um, I tell everyone there. I tell my bosses. I tell my, my friends. I tell everybody I can get to. And, you know, if they tell... You know, that's the point. You tell them... Hopefully, they care about it. They tell their friends. They tell their friends. And, you know, that's how it goes. You tell your family members. 
and it just spreads. You, you take it through work. You know, you, people are seeing it. They're not. They're not going with it because they see people losing their jobs and they see how it's all deliberate and food shortages and inflation, and jobs everywhere and all that. And I mean, I I don't blame anyone. I don't. I don't recommend people getting uh, injected to get jobs or keep jobs. I would get out of there as soon as they start talking. You know, you know they say that they say you got to do it. I say, well, it's nice working here. Thank you for the opportunity and whatnot. There's always other places that will be glad to have you. You know, that's that's how it works. We need people to help each other out and understand things. Um, you know, there's a lot of lack of morality. There's not a whole lot of morals going on. People don't care about each other. They're selfish. They live in their own world. And that's what the system goes off of. They they keep feeding people with all the stuff they don't need. And, um, you know, distracting them, dividing them, making them sick, giving them what they want for the most part. Every You pretty much can do, you know, a lot of things. I can still do pretty much everything I want to do. So, you know, I've got a pretty positive spin on, on things. I just get upset with the situation and whatnot. I'm not the type of person that says, well, you know, this, that, and the other, that, you know, things are so bad and whatnot, but yet I'm trying to help other people because I know all this. I know way beyond what I'm even saying. So, you know, I have to keep it fairly easy to understand because I understand how confusing it can be um, for people, especially people who don't really have a clue about the different things, how things connect and why things are done on purpose and, you know, whatnot, but, you know, hopefully as long as I stay in the right mindset, I'll be at least doing a topic on the way back, um, I should be wrapping up the video pretty soon here, just waiting to, uh, See if I can meet up with someone here. And, uh, yeah. It's uh, definitely good to just talk to talk to people and stuff. I think it's really good for me to just kind of talk and have someone listen to me. And then you got the comment section still, thankfully. Um, you can leave your feedback, all that kind of stuff. Um, you can put timestamps in and I'll go and check it out. And... I'll look over what um, what people have to say, and um, I'm trying to help people out. You know, I'm helping myself by doing things. I'm uh... so okay. I'm gonna wrap up the video. All right. Thank you guys very much for listening, and there will be more to come. And I'll try to take notes and try to stick to it more, but when I'm driving and stuff, it's very difficult, and most of the time, that's the only time I get to um, talk, because I usually am in the car and whatnot. So, once again, thank you very much. You guys have a good rest of the day. Bye then.